Shout out to G-Man Boxing. Anthony Joshua hinted the other day that going into this rematch with Alexander Usyk that he could be with a new trainer. All right, so he could be finally getting rid of Rob McCracken going into arguably the biggest fight of Anthony Joshua's career. The rematch of Alexander Rusek. I'm going to quote Anthony Joshua here directly. He says, I've been based in Sheffield and had a good chat with my coach. I want to try new things, a new environment to get inspired again and take the heavyweight division by storm. New environment, work with some new coaches and go to war. Warriors mindset. So it's looking, he's out in Dubai now at the minute is Anthony Joshua training with several different trainers. Um, he's been with Eubank Jr. I would imagine, would Roy Jones be out there for Eubank Jr.'s out there? I don't know. But AJ looks likely to be with a new trainer. Who that is, I don't know. Now, I... Some people are going to say, gee... You'll, you'll know what I mean in a second. Basically, I've been someone who said... Even before I ever made videos on YouTube, AJ needs to be in Rob McCracken. Why is he being trained by Rob McCracken? He doesn't look... AJ is probably going to hit his ceiling with Rob McCracken. But he can go so much further. But as a fighter trainer... There's, it's like there, but with another trainer, age could be there. So I thought that after even the Parker fight, and I wasn't nervous at the time, and I thought he needed to get a new trainer. After he lost to Ruiz, I thought, okay, get a new trainer now. No, he didn't. Went into the rematch with Ruiz, with Rob McCracken, stayed with Rob McCracken, lost to Usyk in September, and then he went to America and trained with Virgil Hunter. He trained with um, Ronnie Shields. He trained with Eddie Reynoso. I think he trained with someone else as well. I liked what I was seeing and I liked the fact that he was getting out and I was hoping that maybe we'd have an announcement soon on a new trainer, but we didn't. And now he's training with, I believe, different trainers again in Dubai. And it looks likely that we're going to get an announcement of a new trainer imminent, but we don't know who. Now... Here's the thing, right? Whilst I do think AJ needs a new trainer, I think it might be a bad idea to get a new trainer so soon to the Alexander Rusek rematch. If it's happening, we'll say in April. I don't think that's enough time to gel with it. I just don't. I said that about Tyson Fury when he left Ben Davison to go with Javon Sugarhill going into the Wilder uh, rematch. Um, and that was December 2019. And the rematch happened in February. I was wrong. Hold my hands up. Completely wrong. Worked out a treat. That's Deontay Wilder. Not Alexander Rusek. Different proposition altogether. Fury knew what style he needed. AJ has been with several different trainers. He's seen a style here. He's seen a style there. He's seen a style like this. He's seen a different style. He's seen a trainer who does this. Too much. You ever hear too many cooks spoil the broth? You're taking a little, little bits of everything. That's all well and good. But you're going to be with one trainer who's going to show you maybe one specific style. You're going to try and get that you know drilled into you in three months. It can take a lot longer than that. So I know I've been saying for the longest time, yes, I think AJ needs a new trainer. And I do think he does need a new trainer. But I think that if he was to get a new trainer, I've, I've said it once, I'll say it again. I would have loved for him to have said, you know what, I'll take the step aside. Rob, see you later. I'm going to hire Eddie Reynoso. I'm going to hire Teddy Atlas. I'm going to hire um, Clifton Mitchell. Virgil, or Virgil Hunter, I should say. Um, you know, Someone like that. Freddie Roach, etc., etc., etc. I'm going to hire one of them. I'm going to work with them for the next maybe fight or two. And then I'm going to go and fight Fury, fight Usyk. No. I, I just don't think going straight into a rematch with Alexander Usyk, with a brand new trainer, trying to, you know, get familiarized with him. When you, I just don't know if that's a good idea. You know, and I know I've been saying for the longest he needs to get rid of McCracken. And I do think he needs to. But I just think that this could end pretty badly. If you do it going into the biggest fight of your career, where there's already a huge amount of pressure on you as it is, you're essentially stepping out of your comfort zone, which is not always a bad thing, but stepping out of your comfort zone, but going into the oven, you know, when you're fighting Alexander Usyk, I could see this rearing up and biting AJ in the you-know-what. Other people as well have been speculating about AJ coming in, you know, heavier, which I don't think is a good idea, and putting it on Alexander Usyk, looking like he's been talking about himself, going to war... Um, well, yeah, I mean, like, anything's better. You're not going to outbox Alexander Usyk, but that, as I said several times, that could rear up and bite you in the ass real quick. 
doing that with Alexander Rusek really could, especially if you put on excess muscle, those lactic acid, those muscles are going to fill with lactic acid and they are going to drop. They are going to drop like a porn star's tits, you know, when she hits 40. That's what's going to happen. All right, so I think that's that could really rear up by AJ in the you know what. But in terms of this new trainer, look, I'll be interested to see who he gets. Um, Ronnie Shields, potentially. Um, Ishmael Salah wouldn't be a bad shout. Um, Papa Lomachenko. No, actually, obviously, what am I saying, Papa Lomachenko? Because he's obviously with Usyk, but he would be a good fit, to be fair. Um, Anatoly Lomachenko, I mean, he would be a good fit, but I don't know. AJ with a new trainer. I'm keeping this short, keeping it sweet. I don't know if that's a good idea. I really don't. I really with it going into this fight in the like. If, if AJ wasn't taking the Usyk fight, let's say he said no, I won't be taking the Usyk fight. I want to have a fight with. Give me a name. Trying to think here, Hellenius. I want an interim fight with Hellenius, and maybe I'll fight someone else after. I'd be saying, AJ, brilliant, well done. Getting you this new trainer, whoever it is, let's just say Eddie Renoso, happy days. We'll see how he improves under AJ over the next few fights. But going straight in, because a lot of the times you won't often see an improvement. Good example, perfect example. Look at Parker when he started training with Andy Lee in the first Chisora fight. Very brief camp, known Kevin Barry. Very brief with Andy Lee. Brief camp. Goes in with Chisora. Looks awful. Looks the same as always. Doesn't see any improvements. Has a longer camp with Andy Lee. Albeit Parker is still not the finished article. But you see the improvements. You see the difference in his game. You see the improvements from training with a new trainer. What it's done. Now Parker had plenty of time to do that. He had from. Realistically he had from what. March to December with Andy Lee. Training with him non-stop. Apart from the couple of weeks off. But he's been training with Andy Lee consistently. You're talking about AJ going to a new coach. Having from, we'll say like, say like now, middle of January. Till December. Or not December. Till April the, truck a date. 18th. That's not long enough in my opinion. It's not. I don't think it is anyway. Let me know in the comment section. Am I wrong? What do you think? What are your thoughts for this AJ rematch? Usyk rematch? And are you like me thinking, Usyk's winning? And I just can't see any... Ruiz, I picked AJ to beat Ruiz. I knew he'd know what to do. I knew he'd be able to box Ruiz. With this, I just don't see how AJ wins. I really don't. If he does, I'll be the first to say, well, you proved me wrong. And fair play, prove me wrong. I just can't see it. I just can't see it. And I do like AJ. I love watching him. I think I've watched every fight he's had since he's turned pro. I love watching AJ. And I've watched him long enough to know... That this is just ain't going to work. But this just ain't going to work. In my opinion. I could be completely wrong. But it just from the outside looking in. I just don't think this is going to work. Let me know in the comment section what you think. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you could smash the like button. It does help the channel out. Getting it growing. And yeah we're getting there man. We, uh, man. If we hit 10k before the end of the year. I will be so happy. I'll be as happy as a pig and shite. Seriously. Hope you enjoy the video lads and lassies. Peace.